Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Scott Leroy Marketing. And today I'm going to show you how to create an email template in designs and then add that template to an email campaign so that you can send it to your database. So first we get logged into command and we're going to start with creating the email in designs. I find this easier just in case you have to pause while in the middle of creating the email and come back to it rather than having to make sure that if you already created the campaign that you don't send out something before it was supposed to. So we're gonna create a design and then select email and continue. That's gonna take us to the templates that are available. You'll see a lot of options here. You can load even more. You'll see there's 77. For this example, we're just gonna go with the classic open house email and select next. And here you're gonna start seeing text boxes that you can edit. We're gonna come in, make sure to change all of this information. Center that text box and select done. Now editing the address. And the price. ahead and hit that pencil again because I forgot to center the text box. I want everything to line up. Make sure our statistics here line up as well. Next you have these images which nothing pulled in but the image box is there so that you can just select it, hit the pencil, and then we're going to replace even though there's nothing here currently. We're going to add an image and I'm just going to drag and drop my file. Once that loads, we're going to select it and replace. And then to see our changes, we're going to hit done. And you'll see we need to edit that size. So we're going to come in here. I like that width, but we want to make it taller so that the photo actually looks appropriate. So we're going to go and just kind of play with these numbers until we like the way it looks. You can add other images. Let's say I just want to highlight one photo. You can delete those right out and it adjusts everything underneath. You can type right in that text box. So you select it, hit the pencil. Again, I'm coming back in to center this. I'm also going to make it a bit larger. Highlight my text, make it larger. Make it take up more space. You may choose to have some statistics about the house, maybe your MLS remark. There is an option here to view listing. So if you hit that, you select the button icon and then pencil. This is gonna let you change the way it looks and where it leads to. So let's say I don't want it to say view listing, but I want more info. And then I'm going to link it to either a specific web address and you can enter that here or a landing page that you've connected to your consumer side of your command applets. 
So let's say I have a specific page for this property, then I'm gonna send it there. You can also change the size and the appearance of the button. That makes it much larger. You can also change the color, font inside of it. You can also make it rounded. And then you can edit some of this information, but notice this is all merge tags. So that's going to be pulling from your marketing profile. So you don't necessarily need to change that except website here is not a merge. Oh, yeah, there it is. The merge is within the text. So just make sure that's all saved. Same thing with download my app. You can add more text, images, buttons. You can have all of this information added if you wanted to. Once we're done editing, we're going to save. It is saving here. We do recommend changing the name on your design so that you can easily identify what it is that you created. So I'm going to just throw in our street name so I can identify which property this is for. All right, so once that's saved, we're gonna close and save changes. And that should drop us back into our designs. Platform. There we go. All right, so now we see our email is here for our open house. So now we're gonna go to campaigns, which is the megaphone icon. And we're going to create a campaign. And this is going to be an email as well. Name our campaign. Advertise listing. All right, so this drops us into our campaign editor. So we're going to choose a list or create a list. So here I've already sorted my contacts with specific tags and created a list. If I wanted to do that, I could create a list, name it, And then I can manually add people. I can search by tags. We're gonna go to Taylor's contacts. And then we can select a hundred at a time. So you'll want to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit load more. Once you have the filters that you want applied, and you'll see I go from 100 to 348. So then we confirm. And now we have a new list. It's going to send from me and my reply to email. Enter a subject. Then we select design. And here we have the template that we already created. It is going to give us the option to make more edits if we want. But from here, we can just hit save. And once that has loaded, again, we have our progress bar over here. 
Once that saves, we can close out of this screen and that should drop us into our campaign once again. Save changes. And then that will show our preview as well on the right hand side. including our information. So this has my website hyperlinked, phone number, license number, name. So all my information is populating. It's pulling in correctly. Nothing looks broken or missing. And then from here, you can either save as a draft if you're not quite ready. You can schedule this to go out on a specific date and time. Or if you hit send, it's going to go out immediately. Once you do hit send, I'm not going to, as this is not an open house that I'm actually advertising. Once you go back for your emails, you'll see, since I didn't save as a draft, it disappeared. But You'll see this status bar saying processing, and then your information on how many are sent, how many are opened and clicked will start showing up as people receive your email. 